what led you to setting this ultimatum? Because I know that there's going to be a reaction from the fact that you are so young, you're 23. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, you need to set an ultimatum at 23. What was really your reasoning for it and why you felt like it was time and ready to settle down? At a very early age, I was in a long-term relationship and I've always just been infatuated with being a mom and being a wife and just having this family that I can look after and be protective of and just care for. And after coming out of a long-term relationship and then being in with Jake and moving from California to Texas together, financing each other's vehicles, we've lived together now for a year and a half. We went through COVID, so we were really close for the for a year and a half. I was just like, I... I also felt homesick. Like I wanted to go back home. And so I was just like, what are, what are we here for? Like, where's this relationship going? I don't want to waste my time. Let's get married. Let's do it tomorrow. Like, let's do it now today. And I was hounding him. So when we got casted for this experience, it was like, Siri, like, (laughs) were you listening to me? (laughs) So it, it actually worked out perfect. I did feel guilt going on an experience, you know, like, what did I draw, drag my partner into doing? Um, But I think he's thankful for it as well. Ultimately, I feel like both of us figured out our true selves and like that. There's things that we need that we just couldn't provide each other. And that's okay. So have you spoken to him since the show wrapped? Yeah, for the show. I mean, I was at his house on and off all the time. Um, We tried to like, it's like we were trying to make things work. But then also I was living there. I was paying rent at my place when I was living at Jake's and trying to make things work and like go about my daily work life and you can just tell that the tension is there anytime we got an argument we would refer back to something that happened a year ago in the ultimatum and then um not just that but with so much damage and drama like you can have love for a person and just still not have the same feelings or look at them the same and another moment that I'm curious to hear what you thought of was during that final ultimatum choice he said to your face, I am not going to run away with Ray. And then literally did yeah. that. What was your reaction? My reaction during the show, I'll tell you, is that I was heartbroken that I didn't get chosen. And I felt a little bit better that I wasn't not getting chosen because of another woman. When he told me that he wasn't running off with her, I was like, okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. And then getting a phone call, I just got driven back to my hotel I just made it back home and I get a call from Zay and he's like, Jake and Ray ran off with each other. And I just remember, I don't even remember what my response was, but I was just like, what? Like, shut up. And then the tears there, I just was in such shock because like, he just told me that they're not doing that. And I couldn't even talk back on the phone. I was so distraught. I just hung up and just cried because I was just like, it's one thing to not hurt my feelings, but it's another thing to just lie to my face because you don't want to hurt me. I'd rather you just hurt me with the truth. And then watching it back and seeing him, oh, hey, gorgeous. That was just like, that's like the shit that you said to me when we first started dating. Like that that hurt watching it too because I was just like, who are you? Did you confront him about lying to you about it? Oh, I've said it before. Like I'm sure we've had our like banter and well, you did this. And I'm sure I was like, well, oh, hey, gorgeous. Like I would tease him or just be like, really? <laughs> not once, not even on my birthday. He's like, hey, beautiful. So yeah, it is a little bit, it hurts like your, your feelings. Like your man won't uh, give you compliments, won't show you affection. But this girl that he just met a few weeks ago, he's like right up her ass with compliments. <laughs> I know that has to have been very hard to go through. <laughs> um, but I think something that a lot of viewers are going to connect with is your brutal honesty on this show. And I think- Oh, oh Lord, like what kind of honesty? (laughs) Well, I I was actually, I was gonna say, I I found it really inspiring the way that you were so open and honest talking about your struggles with infertility. And I think that's a conversation that a lot of people are afraid to have. And so I just wondered if if you, you know, had any hesitation about sharing that so publicly. I did. And honestly, my mom was my- right me right hand man the whole filming of the show she was coming with me to biopsies to labs to blood work to ultrasounds like she was going with me to all my medical stuff I was going through on set and then holding my hand through all that and I'd run back on set like nothing happened and then film and not talk about it and I think what led me to the breaking point was I heard one girl say like Jake doesn't want to have kids yet 
And then I heard another girl like, well, Jake doesn't want to have kids until three or four years. And I finally just blew up because I was like, you guys don't know what I've been going through for the past four or five years. And the, the course of us dating, like he's, we've actively been trying or not doing anything to prevent it. That is. So to hear that, I just, I just broke apart and was just like, this is bullshit. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> another moment that you told it like it was, was during when everybody was making their choices for who they were going to pair up with. <laughs> And I was shook by Nate's proposal. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm and glad I, I was not the only one. <laughs> um, I was screaming at my TV. Oh my so, gosh. Um, so I'm very curious because <laughs> it seemed, it really felt like it came out of nowhere as a viewer. And I was just curious what your experience was watching it back. I know you had a strong reaction in the moment, but what do you think of it in hindsight now? I'm- I think watching it in hindsight, I was just like pressure or, you know, fear. I mean, I was inspired by Hunter's engagement. Like, you know, you watch an inspired movie, like, I'm going to do that. Like, what? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of what it was. But looking at them today, I mean, I hit Nathan messaged me the other day. He's like, next time you guys go to your lake house, I want to come. I'm like, yes, you and Lauren, come on over. Like, they live right down the street from me. I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy that Lauren agreed to have, have kids. We're going to have ultimatum babies. 10 years later, we're going to have a reunion. (laughs) Well, I have to ask, is there anyone new in your life? Are we seeing April settle down? I'll speak in the third person because I love the way that you did. (laughs) I'm going to say I'm single just because I don't want to share him. I'm just kidding. (laughs) You see what this production did the first time. (laughs) But no, I am in a serious relationship. I, I adore this person like no other. I look up to him. I respect the hell out of him. He's a businessman. He is a king when it comes to like treating me like royalty or a queen. He just is the man of my dreams. And it, I, I've never been so shy or so quiet around someone or so geeked out. I'm just like, yo, like, <laughs> we're not in high school. Like, why do you make me feel like this? It's been six months and I still have butterflies. Head over heels about this guy. I'm like, we're, we're moved in. We have three dogs together. He's the only reason I decided to stay in Austin. I told him we break up and going back to LA. 